Hey, John. Welcome to uh, a first in Canada. Uh, we're actually uh, introducing the Clips Jubilees. Uh, there's a bit of a history with the Jubilees. The Jubilee was actually a model that was uh, created in the late 80s, actually middle 80s, by a bunch of audiophile enthusiasts across the world that actually took a commercial bass bin and a commercial high mid-range driver and created this high efficiency output um, large behemoth, shall we say, that was actually performing better than what they thought than the K-Horn, which obviously we've built since 1946. The nice thing about this is uh, Klipsch still gets demand for the Jubilee and both really up until this day. So the team, the design team, got together and created an audiophile version of this. So and that's what we're actually launching this here is, in Canada This is today. what we're seeing. So, um, so actually, I've you know, Paul Belair here, who is our um, director of sales for Quebec Territory, because that's what we're doing the launch, um, can tell you all about how it's actually connected and how it works. So first of all, let's just talk about fit and finish, because I have to say they're truly beautiful. Yeah, it, it currently comes in two colors. It comes in the walnut finish and it comes in a black real wood veneer finish. We do offer custom finishes. Uh, we're actually, we've got one on order for uh, um, Calgary area that you can order it in like Sycamore and you can have different tones of wood. They come at a surcharge. Um, as you know, the current pair, the way it sits here, that is uh, $56,000 a pair retail, and that includes actually an active network that Paul will uh, discuss as well. Take it, take us through it, Paul. So the active ne network that comes in the box is actually a DSP uh, with crossovers. So you cannot run and operate the system without two amplifiers. So what we've done in this particular setup is we're using a TIAC network preamplifier driving into two 701 series amplifiers, one driving the low base, the low frequency cabinets, and the other amplifier driving the high frequency cabinets. Uh, the only two controls on the front of this unit are gain for low frequencies, and then again, gain for the high frequencies. So you really have very little other than to put them up, put them down, to tune into the exact sound that you're looking for in whatever environment you're setting them up in. Okay, and you look like you're what, six, six one? I'm six three. Six three. Six three. So if I stand on the side of them, you'll see they're they stand rather tall. I've got to I've got to walk pretty far back to get the the, the speaker in uh, in the frame. That is tremendous. And about did I did I overhear it about nine hundred pounds? For the pair. For the pair. For the pair. Yeah, this is this is an event to take them off the skids, but they're extremely well packaged for for traveling and arriving all intact. Well, gentlemen, thanks for uh, for walking me through this. Now well, I'm gonna for coming by. I'm gonna turn the camera off, and now let's hear them. <laughs>